1,000. China, 2,335,000. Tanks, 45. Tanks, 9,150. Fighter aircrafts, 8. China, 1,385. Warship, 14. Ang Philippines. Ang China, 106. Submarines, 0. 68 sa China. Pero may bawita, Tulfo Brothers, Tulu. Ilang ha? Zero. Umo, 75,000. Zero ilang. Tigpalang, 10,000. Zero ilang. Akta, 35,000. Zero ilang. Multo, 15,000. Huwag pa yung pilang sigpin. Kaya na nyo na, fights na. Verse 20 on your Bible. Very po powerful verses, 20 and 21. It says, Now to him who is able to do, underline that word, able to do, immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Now, if you follow the first four steps of the ladder, you, your engine turns on. Mi under na, kundi mo nang nasunod, ang upat ka steps ka ganiyan. Now, I want you to listen that when a believer follows the sequence, you hold the trigger. That determines whether God is able to do or not in your life. Naani mo ang trigger, naani mo ang control na mag-determine kung makahimo ba ang Diyos ay mong kinabuhi o dili. To do what? To do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to His power that is at work within us. You see, This power will not work in you until you have fulfilled verse, verses 16 to 19. Kini nga gahong, dili kini mo kini maggamit hangtod nga imong gisunod ang sequence kaganiya. Step 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 12, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been do, what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than this because I am going to the Father. Now take note, this is not greater in quality but greater in quantity. We've seen the power of God manifested in the church far greater way quantitatively than Jesus limited three years ministry in one location. Atong nakita, kini nga klase nga pagpadayag sa Diyos sa iyang gahong, sa iglesia, sa kadaghan na nareach out sa maayong balita. He is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to His power that is at work within us. That's why, don't ever say, Lord, I don't know if I can overcome my weakness. Mo na nga dili ka makaingon nga Ginoo dili yun ako ni mahuno ang ako ang kaluyahon. Dili yun ako ni mawagtang nga bisyo. Because you can do it. God is able to do in your life to overcome those weaknesses. Don't ever say, Lord, I don't know if you can use me in the ministry. Because because he can use you beyond your imagination. Dili ka makaingon nga ginuod dili jud ko kamao sa buluhaton sa pagpangalagad. Ayo pagingon ni ana tungod kay ang Dios makahimo pinagi sa gahong nga naa You see, the power is there. There is no limit to what God can do. He can accomplish things through us that we never imagined. My prayer is that you can use that power in your life so that our church can do great things and God will be glorified. Kinalan ato yung gamiton ang gahong na natin na ito. Ano na ito ang iglesia? Makahimu, gagong mga butang. Alam sa kayo maya, 
hayaan sa Diyos. In verse 21, it says, To Him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. You see, God wants to be glorified in the church. Christ made it possible for God to be glorified in the church. He came and redeemed the church. Now take note that Christ can't be glorified in the church until the church will use its power. If we see God's power flow in our church, then God is glorified. Beloved, remember this, that the kind of life you are living is an advertisement for your God. Kung saan na klase sa imo ang pinabuhin, na imong bibinabuhin ka ron, advertisement na sa Diyos ni mo. So make sure that the power within you translate in your kind of living. Paning kamutig yun na ang gahong na na naaganimo, mo resulta kini sa klase sa kinabuhi na gusto sa Diyos sa imo kinabuhi. Don't live your Christian lives as victims but as victors. Ayaw tuguti nga ang imong kinabuhi ang victim ka kung hindi madaogon ka. Victorious kasi. God bless us all.